Now, major oil companies have accused host communities of large-scale oil theft and pipeline vandalism in Nigeria's oil producing state, which is damaging the environment. Now, this accusation came during a recent investigative hearing on oil theft and pipeline vandalism held by the House Committee on Environment. While the hearing uncovered new perspectives as the two companies that appear took opposing stances on the vandals' motives, they ultimately converged on the need to address the hazards and economic sabotage caused by these acts. Both companies agreed that the House Committee should propose legislative interventions to deter these activities, which are detrimental to Nigeria's economic well-being. The records show that in all our areas of oppression, we operate in four states of Bahelsa, Rivers, Delta, and uh, Igbo states. Our statistics show that about 90% of all our spill events are caused by third party interferences on our facilities. But when you go into Bahelsa, we are Olubobro East. It's a concern for us, uh, just as it is for ITO. Um, and um, we are asking for the intervention of this honorable house in whatever way. Because it's not an ordinary statistics that a country that used to produce up to 2.2 2 million barrels is now lagging around less than 1.5 million barrels. Tent of them have been found to be third party infractions from mostly vandals and theft who have come to steal crude. Like I said, it's a very sorry and painful situation. No country, no producer, no operator sets up to want to be a badging operator. It is a Herculean task. It is extremely difficult. It's something that no operator really wants to get involved with. But what do you want to do when you cannot get your crude out? You are producing, but you will not see it. These are open records, open facts that can be found from all facets of security hierarchies, regulators in Nigeria. It got to a point where, as a company, we would have to stop operations for almost two years. The entire OML 29 and uh, Nimbe Creek trunk axis, OML 18, OML 21, OML 29, all of them had to shut down. Uh, members of the committee were not particularly pleased with the derogatory comments about or made about the host communities and demanded an immediate apology from the company's representatives. Uh, now, um, uh, which, uh, which they are immediate host communities. Because what I'm asking, because if you are operating, if all of us in this room are member part of the community and we have a good relationship with the company, I think the consistent uh, tampering with the partner will be reduced. Do you think that is that, is that you are doing that is not correct? Because if you are alleging, if you are alleging that the committee people that are finalizing the pipes, then is that you are doing that is not 100% correct? By way of a maybe engagement, bringing, we have, we have talked about state police in this in, in like parliament, you know, instead of bringing somebody from theta to, to police, I put them on the so that they are familiar with the area, they know how to talk with the area. Are you, do you engage the locals around to help you secure your pipeline? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.